Yes, I said hello. I'm that Leon and this is Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh, no. N not know <laughs> what I'm even talking about. Um, you may or may not hear people coughing in the background. Um, it's not really my fault. Just people are sick and cold. And, well, that's it. So, in the last episode, we did some st stuff. No. Um... Uh, well, Phoenix is explaining the initial trial, we already know about that. So, in the last episode, we actually found a lot of stuff. The man in the Steel Samurai costume has not uh, willpowers, but it was Jack Hammer. The murder, the crime scene was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And, well, that's about it. I, I don't get the Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But, but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? <laughs> and I'm a little bit cold too. <coughs> that was like the weakest uh, cough ever, but anyway. And the director's alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in a trailer. Hmm. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was to do, where the trailer is. What? So, yeah, it's a nice recap of the last episode, but that's about it, so... Let's go back to the distribution center and talk to Will Powers about some stuff. Some... Stuff that were are rather complicated. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst in tears? Actually, he doesn't look like he's about to burst in tears. At least not in this shot. Ah, uh, wow, Nick, you must have really wowed them in there. You could stop looking so vulnerable too. <laughs> hey, Hupu, one day left. Let's make it count. Actually, I do have a question about this whole system. If the three days pass, I wonder, does the defender is automatically killed because... Actually, this is actually the main thing of the game, you don't only have to prove your defendant guilty, there's not... Uh, guilty, <laughs> prove your defendant innocent, there's no benefit for the doubt or anything, but... That's very strange. So, producer Vasquez, what's your opinion on sir? Could you tell me more about Mrs. Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. This is a genius. A genius? She's been, she's been at Global Studies for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares, still, uh, dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since, since she came on board, she's... We had nothing but hit. Oh wow, amazing. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it sign. Oh, and... And what? <laughs> Nothing, forget about it. I've only heard rumors anyway. Hmm, rumors. I mean, we haven't heard rumors anyway. <laughs> what am I even talking about? Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight for a video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought this little samurai idea to him. Uh, now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear she's pretty much at her back and cold though. Whenever she says jump, she has hell high and all that. Can imagine him being at back and cold, but we can imagine him jump. Huh. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped making, uh, taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing on little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. Just gave up being a, a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, five years ago, everything happened five years ago. That, uh, hmm. Well, there's nothing more to talk about with power, so let's move on to studio. 
Well, it's all about fences. You can account. The old wind mark is so quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think your guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even eat those dogs in the guard station. If we wanted. You eat, you die. Yep. She's calm. <laughs> ah. Actually, she's getting a bit of redeeming in this last... Uh, in this part of this case. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems Peter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people didn't want me to talk about this, so sorry. Yeah, she seems calm. She gets a lot of redeeming in this episode, which... Uh, it's... Uh, I mean, I still don't like her, but he is soft, a pushover. He does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She tells him like that, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would I like being treated like dirt? Doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Um, no, it doesn't, Maya. Why did you arm? Um, anyway, and let's let's ask about Mr. Hammer. Oh, no, that was the B button. About Mr. Hammer. Ah, I said about that you said today. See you, Weaver Snapper. Okay, maybe not that redeeming. <laughs> Poor old Hammer. You drag your son down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal. A thief! I, 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 I won't forget this. <laughs> oh, she's really pissed this time. Why would his still powers cost him so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Hmm. Well, this is one of the two things that we must learn about today, so... Maybe we will break your whole world or something. Off to employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming, just for one time. Well, the trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. Yes. This is where you found the bottle of sibling pills, right? Actually, you were with us at that, uh, that time. What? Well, anyway. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, no, no! Not touching! <laughs> oh, surprise attack by Gansu. Oh, sorry, pal. <laughs> Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean. I almost got a heart attack. Yep, that about makes it. I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Hmm. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plates on the table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. This is thereof. So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, you gotta take the plate back to the prince. But I have the cap capabilities of making a tertiary examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to sleeping pills, see? If there's traces, it changes color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gamsu, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changes color, right? Alright, wow. So there were sleeping pills on this plate? <laughs> Looks like it. Alright, so that's a piece of new information, so let's continue on. How goes your, uh, how goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against powers. Some people think we should switch suspects. What do you do? You, wow. What do you think, Detective Gamsu? Well, pal, I should admit it. I'm not sure I'm buying the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Ellsworth, though. Though, though. Well, what's your opinion on him? How is Ellsworth doing, anyway? Ellsworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. <laughs> wow, the fury of Ellsworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. 
Say, whatever happened with that MB bottle? Oh, that was for sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you, pal. They found the victim uh, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Well, just as we suspected. Yep, it sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Okay. So. That's some good information right there. So. Let's move on to the dressing room. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess we won't be needing it anymore, so. What? what? Why? But who is innocent? Yes, I'm really grateful for you, all you've done. But this week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> okay, that was a bit of overreacting, but. I was wondering if, you, if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to study too. Huh? Then he went to study on one. He stole the steel samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must, must be true then. The, the rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, the producer, had something on. some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He do anything she said apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. I, uh, I know what dirt means. But five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used uh, the Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was too. The film set? What? Was the trailer part of the set too? What do you mean, the last three samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Kamer also signed the still samurai's death warrant. Well, no. No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? So the big wish don't want the steel samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? Hmm. Who can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the steel samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. Uh, they'll find a new hero to follow. Huh. That being sent by big steel samurai fanboy. Or fan anyway. If the program just stands, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. Think evidence rather than like words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. And this is. The fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can say face. I would think you would understand this better than anyone. Right. Okay. But can what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what is that Global Studios is so intent on hunting. Tell me about the accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can't tell you what I've heard. Only five years ago, someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Mrs. Vasquez, managed to hash it up. But that's the dirt uh, she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Mrs. Vasquez asked for him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. Ow. I see. You know who knows more about this? Mrs. Olbach. 
She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking. Keyword is try. <laughs> anyway. Let's move on back to the studio gate. What? You're still slicking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? Yeah, sure, I'd like to. Oh, wait, I have a job to do. <laughs> Everybody's doing the darn. <laughs> to forget Hammer. Why do they think. Uh, who do they think them, uh, that made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. Actually, it probably was Vasquez, but anyway. She's starting to froth her, at her mouth. <laughs> Maybe we should keep a <laughs> safe distance? Ah. Uh, no, no, not not one percent. Thank you. Yep. So, about five years ago. Um, I only cross you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear it from? Uh, um, huh? Nichols. Nichols? Nichols. Nick. Penny Nichols. The assistant uh, we talked to. Oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed the man, didn't he? Whoever suffers, turning up dirt on someone's past like that, and the reason the department, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' custom? You expect me to believe this rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' custom? Hmm. Well. Sorry, Miss Sobak, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mrs. Powers' costume. Uh huh, so. Mr. Powers ate a T bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so. Is this, a pla this is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are tracing of sleeping pills. Wow. Pow there on that plate. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> I bet Powers put the uh, himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Lightweight? Except I have proof that Mr. Hammers put the pills in. Oh, no, that was X. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammers fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did the wrong Hammer, rest your soul. Mrs. Olbuck? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Mrs. Olbuck? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Baskets. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But, you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant to do any harm to anyone. Mrs. Olbach. Hold on a minute. Poor Mrs. Olbach. Yeah, she, she has a soul, actually. Here, take this. Uh, a photograph? Oh god. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is... Is this a trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell on the flower box challenge. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel it like talking about it. I understand. Well, that was all bugs for Gemshin, so let's move on to outside Studio 2 so that we can actually have a talk with someone. And you know who it is. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the still samurai costume, then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. So, outside Studio 2. Hey, 
Hey Nick, is Miss Ma Vasquez? Hello? 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 Maya, you should be at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, so I'm here to talk with you. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking with you. Well... Maybe you have something to, to something to make you interested in us. Maybe a photo. I hate my, my controller, but anyway, I will buy a new one. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I well, old back, old. She means a security lady, Mrs. Olbachnik. Right, anyway. Mrs. Vasquez, you hit this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The... huh? It's even stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Well, all for go inside the trailer. <coughs> hmm, you came. Well then, what was that we were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Mrs. Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for Pete Change. So I'm a blackmailer now, huh? Well, that isn't that. Uh, well, well, that was it. Uh, fuck this. <laughs> I mean, sure, it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from the rightful place as, as a star. Oh, I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour on his own accord. But you were the cause. You pressured him, and to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That's what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Huh. <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years? Over a mere accident. And I ran him hard, believe you me. But uh, the security lady said it was an accident. The security lady is not a good source. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a bruises too. So that's why she had the photo. <laughs> well, she's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys? Uh oh. Um. Who are they? Professionals? They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? With so much evidence I have. I can take down a whole army. I've played Ultimate Marvelous Capcom 3. To bring them on. Bring them on. <laughs> it's always saying you have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want to this photograph so so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No. Why should Tivashi care about it at all? I'm sure you have plenty of time to think about that. Where are you going? So long, friends. Boys, you race away. Hold it right there! I heard everything, Paul! Devasquez! You're coming down to the present with me! Now! Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears the incontinence will be decided tomorrow then, in court. 
I'll be looking forward to it. What do, doesn't she like he wears gums to? Hey, you okay, Paul? I'm sorry I was a little late with my energy. I get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Check your gums. <laughs> Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective comes up. <laughs> Sorry, I just... I've always wanted to say that now since I became a detective. You had it and you ruined it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run... Oh, but, but, I do not want to take that. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? The Vasquez. <laughs>